uh, 43 looks like this one. <clears throat> now initially I look at it and I see fractions and that bothers me a little bit. And so I can probably, I know that this number and this number are just common numbers that I could get together, uh, but they're fractions and often with, when you have fractions that, you know, you can make mistakes on that. Anyway, so what I like to do with this question is uh, to use the I hate fraction rule. And the I ha hate fraction rule simply says to uh, look at the denominators for each one. This one doesn't have a denominator, so I assume it to be a one and find a common denominator. And for this one, I think the lowest common denominator will be three. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna multiply every term, this one, this one, and this one, by three. Okay, so I'm gonna take the negative seven thirds x, and I'm gonna take the two thirds, and I'm gonna take the negative 18, and each of them I'm gonna multiply by three. Okay, so you have to do them all. You can't just do the two that have the fraction on them. Okay, so for the first ones, the threes cancel, so I'm left with negative 7x. The next one, same thing, the threes cancel, so I'm left with just 2. And then the next one's 3 times 18. I'm thinking that's about negative 54. Okay, so now I've got a nice fra uh, equation that doesn't have any fractions. So I'm going to move the 2 to the other side. So I'll subtract 2 here and subtract 2 there. So I'll get negative 7x is equal to negative 56. And then I'll use the division principle, and I'll divide both sides by a negative 7. So I'll come up with x is equal to negative divided negative is a positive. 56 divided 7, I think, is 8. Okay, hopefully that helps you with those questions. Here's a couple more uh, <coughs> linear equation uh, kind of questions. This has got embedded equations. It looks fairly interesting. Um, so what we need to do is uh, prioritize our, our brackets. So this one has an end there. Uh, okay, then I'll probably need to do this thing here first. Multiply that through. Let's see, on the other side, this one has an end over there. So I probably need to do this stuff inside there first. So let's start there. Okay, so I've got 3, bracket 5, and I'm going to multiply the negative 3 by the 4, so it'll be negative 12, and the negative 3 by negative t will be a positive 3t, bracket, minus 2 equals. Now on the other side, <coughs> I need to do this stuff first, so that would be, oh, i got to leave the 5 out, and then 3 times 5 would be 15t, 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, plus 8. Notice that <coughs> once I multiply that through, that I get rid of those brackets. Okay, and then minus 26. Whew. Okay, so now outside of this bracket, I've got a number. So I can either collect things in there first, or I can multiply the 3 for first. Probably combining stuff inside makes more sense. So 5 take away 12 uh, is going to be a negative 7 uh, plus 3t. Okay, minus 2 equals. Same thing here, I'll combine those two first. So I'll be 15t, negative 12 plus 8, negative 4, minus 26. Okay, starting to hurt. I like it. Now I'll multiply through. So it'll be a negative 21 and a positive 9t minus 2 equals, multiply through, 75t minus 20 minus 26. Now I can move t's to one side, numbers to the other side, but maybe it makes sense to combine what's on each side that's alike first. So negative 21 and negative 2 is negative 23. I'll write that second like that equals 75t. Just like Caitlin, I'm recording. Negative 20 minus 20 would be a negative 46, I think. Okay, and now let's um, move t's to one side. Okay, I'll be right there to check, Caitlin. Uh, move the 75 to this side, so it'll be 9t minus 75t. 
Okay, and then I'm going to move the 23 to the right side. So minus 46 plus 23. Now I sort of did that step in my head where I added 23 and added 23. And I also took and I went uh, minus 75t and minus 75t. I sort of did that in my head. Uh, but hopefully you're, you're following that. Okay, so 9t minus 75. Ooh, that's going to be negative 60, 60. Negative 66t is equal to, and on this side, I'm thinking that comes out to uh, minus 23. Yeah, minus 23. So then if I divide both sides by negative 66, I get t is equal to negative 23 over negative 66. Or the two negatives will cancel, so it'll be 23 over 66. Now, that's a big question. And uh, something like that, like I'd like for that number to come out to like two or one half. It didn't come out to a real nice fraction. So I'm wondering if I did anything wrong up top. Let me just check. Minus 12 plus 3t. That's right. 15t minus 12 plus 8. Yeah, that's right. So it'd be negative 7. Yeah. Um, minus 4, that's right. F minus 20. Uh, minus 21 plus 9t. Yeah, minus 2. Minus 23, that's right. Minus 46. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking that I did everything right. Anyway, hopefully that helps with that one. Now there's another one. Oh, here's a few... Um, <coughs> Uh, solving linear equations. Uh, the first one, question 33, 4.8y is equal to negative 28.8. Um, I'm going to use the division principle. And what I'm doing is trying to isolate the y. So I just divide by 4.8, not 4.8y. Okay, and then on this side, I have to do the same thing. <coughs> on the left side, they cancel. So I'm left with y is equal to. And if, if I divide these two on the calculator, uh, it should come out. Another question, this is a little smaller, not as many brackets, phew, uh, but there's fractions. So what I need to identify is the lowest common denominator and then multiply each term by that lowest common denominator. So when I'm looking at it, this is one he term here, but the only thing I'm looking at for that one is this number here. I might have to deal with this fraction later, uh, but for right now, I think I'll just leave it. Now, another thing I could do is multiply that through first, uh, but I'm going to get an extra fraction there, and that, I, I guess that could be okay. Um, either way is okay as long as you keep track of things. But when you multiply every term, this is one term, and so when you multiply it by something, it's only going to affect that first number. Okay? That might be where people get mixed up. Anyway, between 3 and 8, I'm calling 24 as the uh, lowest common denominator. Let me get rid of my blue here. Okay, so minus tw or 24 is my lowest common denominator. So I'm going to take 2 thirds times 7 eighths plus 4x. I'm going to times that by 24. Minus, I'm going to take this 5 eighths and times it by 24. And the 3 eighths. Okay, so this whole thing gets multiplied by 24. And really... Uh, I'm just multiplying it by that fraction. This thing gets by 24. This thing gets tw by 24. So the 24 and the 3 cancel, so it leaves an 8 there. So it would be 8 times 2, so that's 16. Times 7 eighths plus 4x. Minus the 8 and the 24 cancel to leave 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 8 goes into 24 three times, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, hopefully that, that step is a little bit hard, especially when you have uh, um, one term here that is a product. But you're only going to multiply it by this one here. Okay, so now I multiply this 16 through. So 16 times 7 eighths, that would be, I think, 14. Check that. 8 goes into 16 twice, 2 times 7 is 14. Plus... 16 times 4 would be about 64x minus 15 is equal to 9. 
14 take away 15 is a negative 1, so it would be 64x minus 1 is equal to 9. And then I'm going to take um, uh, the 1 to the other side, so I'll add it to both sides, so it would be 64x is equal to 10. And then I'll do the rest of it up here. Uh, divide both sides by 64, you'll get 10 over 64, which when you simplify the fraction, divide maybe two into both, so you get five over 32, and that's probably where I would stop with that one. Okay, hopefully that helps you with those two questions.